My name is Ariane Mutzel and I'm from Munich in Germany and I'm an IMPURS student at the Max Planck Institute for Ornithology in Seewiesen. Animals have different personalities. Pretty much like humans, they consistently differ how they cope with challenging or stressful situations. So I want to know actually why animals show these striking differences and how these behavioral differences are related to their ability to survive and to reproduce. I am working with grey tits and blue tits. They are very common in southern Germany and they readily breed in artificial nest boxes and that's a huge advantage for us because we have quite a high number of artificial nest boxes hanging in forests, like up around 600 and we have 200 breeding pairs every year, so it's relatively easy to get a high number of behavior tests. For instance, we perform a test that is called aggression test, when the males start to occupy and defend breeding territories against other males of the same species. So we take a stuffed dummy, set it up in front of a nest box, and we play back the song, and then we observe the behavior of a male. We note down, for instance, how often they alarm, how often they hop around and how close they approach the dummy. And some males actually are really aggressive, so they come immediately, start attacking the dummy and others just sit still and don't do anything. We also do a so-called novel environment test. We put the bird into a small box that is fixed to a larger cage. And then we release the bird into the cage via a sliding door so that we don't have to touch it anymore. And then we videotape the behavior of the birds. And another setup is a novel room that they don't know. And then we simply measure how active they are in this environment. There are remarkably large differences in how they behave in these rooms. So some birds are extremely active, they investigate everything very quickly. And others just sit on one tree and don't move anymore at all. I want to find out how these differences in personality are related to their ability to survive and to reproduce. Therefore, one of my main parts of the study is actually to investigate feeding behavior. For this reason, we install small nest box cameras inside every nest box with a nest. And later on, we then analyze which kind of prey type they bring, how big the prey is, and also how they respond to different chick begging levels. I actually already have some quite exciting results that indicate that aggressive males feed their chicks much less than non-aggressive males. But interestingly, that is not directly related to reproductive success and that is most likely because their female partners make up for the laziness of their males. But of course, as it's a quite recent field of research actually, there is still lots of unknown questions. Fieldwork in the breeding season is actually quite intense. So in the breeding season we are up to 12 people working out every day. Otherwise you would lose data. Still, I love doing fieldwork, but I also have all these videos that can be quite tiring to analyze. Hmm. And analyze. And, and analyze. And analyze. <laughs> <laughs>